All right, welcome back to Boring Land. Nick here. Gabe. And we are looking at hater, which sounds like the word, like, don't be a hater. Don't be a hater. But I mean, that, that's how I pronounce it. This came out in 2014, and we've gotten a few requests for it. A few <laughs> requests for it. It might be the same guy over and over. But. <laughs> well, I don't know if same guy like requested the three <laughs> videos in a row. He's like, guys, still no haters. Like, it's coming, it's coming. We got you, we got you. <laughs> so we see the comments, we're listening, and we finally got to it. We finally got to it. Yeah. So I mean, what's hater about? You, I have no idea. I love asking. All I know is that it's a drama movie because it's in the captions. <laughs> and it's movie. in HD. <laughs> I can read. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But I'm thinking the way it's spelled. I mean, unless it's a, it's an Indian film or anywhere Hindi or something like that. I'm thinking it's the guy's name or something. I have no idea. We have been doing a few uh, Halloween esque movies, so maybe it's a movie around that. Did we get it around that time? I think we have. I, I want to say we've gotten more recently, but maybe it's been since the beginning of time with our channel, which isn't that long. But, <laughs> but it, without further ado, I don't want to have this guy's mind blown before it happens, so let's get right into it. All right. Here we go. Boy reviews. Bueller. 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 So, really excited that I recognized Shahid Kapoor there from Kabir Singh and from Padmavat. It also said in the credits there, Shadra Kapoor, so I'm not sure if that's his brother. Right, right. Um, or his sister, I'm not sure. But let us know if th there's any relation there. This guy really blew me away in Kabir Singh. I know you haven't seen it yet. Right. But even though that wasn't my favorite movie, his his acting ability really was amazing. Talking about one performance to the other. Padmavat, I didn't really get blown away by him. Right. But th this guy really can put it on. And, and the character he's portraying right here looks very, very similar to that edgy, darker character that's in Kabir Singh. Right. Um, honestly, as far as Hamlet goes, I right. never really spent too much time studying Shakespeare. I've always been a movie guy more than a book guy, even though I right. do enjoy reading. I don't really know the story of Hamlet too much. I know to be right. or not to be. Right, right, right. And that's kind of what he was doing there with that girl. Do, do you know a lot about Hamlet? You know what? I took it. <laughs> I remember taking a class, and uh, I think it was like English lit or something like that. And we still we did we did Hamlet, and basically it was 
a king or or if I'm remembering correctly, it's something about betrayal, like a king's son betrays him or something to that effect. And all I all I remember is that a lot of people die. It's a tragedy. So it's a drama, but I'm like, oh, because I remember we did Othello too. We actually had to read Othello, but that one was where he was a Moor and he was married to one of the, I think it was Roman. I think it was, yeah. Othello was a Moor, and it was like Romans, and of course, Romeo and Juliet, but we did three in that class, and I want to say Hamlet was the last one, but I tell you what, it looked very, very dark, I remember that was one of your comments there, man, and I know that, you know, Hamlet was also a dark story, so I, I'm excited to watch this, man. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and nothing else, just for me to better understand Hamlet, um, when Romeo and Juliet, the movie with DiCaprio and... What's, I can't remember. And Claire Danes. Right. That was really powerful for me to watch. I watched it a few years after it came out when I was really into that kind of stuff and understanding film. And the way they modernized uh, a Shakespeare play was really interesting. They modernized everything else, but they kept the same exact dialogue in mm -hmm. it. I, I really liked that interpretation. This is obviously is different, but it's still a modernized tale right. where it's still using modernized dialogue. But, I mean, this guy... Shakespeare, I mean, this guy is responsible for still making stories that are relevant today. It's unbelievable. I'm excited to see it. I'm excited to see it. I don't think I've actually seen a modernized version of Hamlet. I know that there, there's actually been, like, the plays and a couple movies. I think there was a movie that came out. Oh, there's one with Mel Gibson. But, oh, okay, right, right, right. But there's been a few of them. I didn't even watch that one. So, like I said, the only time I, uh, I did Hamlet was because I had to and I was taking a course. But... I'm excited to see this because I like when they modernize it and, you know, give us the same storyline and the same basic principles, but then, you know, put it into a contemporary time. So I'm yeah. excited. There was also another one, I believe, from Kenneth Branagh who played Hamlet famously. But um, one of my favorite movies, Last Action Hero, it's it's about a kid that loves movies and he goes into a movie and Arnold Schwarzenegger is the main guy. In that, Schwarzenegger's character is an actor too. And he plays Hamlet, and it's just awesome hearing Schwarzenegger to be or not to be. <laughs> and then he blows something up, and he says, "Not to be." <laughs> right, that's what I always think of when I think of Hamlet. I even remember the last action movie. hero. It was super oh, over I the love top. That movie. I love that movie. <laughs> but there you have our reaction. Um, if you liked our reaction, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, and check out some other videos, and then consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. We are still looking to grow. Consider being a Patreon. Go to our Patreon page. That would be muchly appreciated, especially if you want to have higher um, quality videos. Yes. Not just that, <laughs> but if you want to have a higher request priority, uh, you become a Patreon. We're going to get to your request before anyone else's. So, with all that being said, until next time. To be or not to be? Not to be. <laughs>